Good day, Junior Techies. This is Mrs. DeMolon speaking, and today we are going to look at Activity 4 for Chapter 5, Posting to the General Ledger. Now, this is also slightly a different layout to what you are used to. So, if we look at this, they say the following information was extracted from the books of DAJ traders ending the 28th of February 2022. The markup of the business is 60% on cost. Refer to the general ledger accounts below and to complete the missing information A to N in your answer book. Show calculations to earn part marks if necessary. And then they ask us two theory questions um, that we will get to. Okay, so A to F and or N at the end. Now, when you have an activity like this, it is easiest to fill out your layout first because hopefully by now you know the layout of the heart and then we can look at finding figures so the first number a the clue you need to look for is cj so cj refers to creditors journal and that means a credit purchase so a must be creditors control number b refers to the bank here so bank and a purchase for stock is a CPJ. Then debtors allowances means this is a return of stock sold. So return of stock sold must always be the cost of the goods sold that is returned. So cost of sales. And then petty cash here yeah, refers to E and that is the cost petty cash journal PCJ. Then continuing with the layout debtors journal is credit sales so cost of the goods sold so f must be cost of sales and then caj is return of stock to our suppliers who's the supplier the creditors so creditors control now to find the missing figures d um <clears throat> d here and g and i is to do the balancing so g and d is literally just to look at the contra account so what is the contra account now so the contra account is now cost of sales debtors allowance journal so if i look at the other ones i'm going to go to the cost of sales account and i'm going to find the daj transaction and that will then be that twenty five thousand and seventy five rand <clears throat> and then still number a or g to find the figure for g i'm going to have to look for Cost of sales account, debtors journal entry. So cost of sales again, but the debtors journal entry. And that will be the 50,000 Rand. So if we look at the trading stock account, completely filled out, the missing figure was just I. And that was the balancing that we have here. So how did I get this 149,170? You had to take the debits, add them together to get the total, which you carry over to both sides. And you minus off your credits and you get the 149.170 and then you have to bring it down to the opposite side for your balance brought down. Then the last two, so if we look at sales and cost of sales again, J, K, M and N, J refers to the layout, so DJ means credit sales, who did I sell to? My debtors, so therefore debtors control. Then bank refers to cash sales that is recorded in the CRJ. Then debtors journal means cost of sales. What do I sell always? Stock. So M must be trading stock. And then to get this trading um, CRJ trading stock figure, that's the cost of the goods sold for cash. So I'm going to go to my trading stock account, look for CRJ, but the cost of sales entry. And that you would have seen is 194,240. And then you are complete. Then the theory part of this question, they say use the ledger accounts and answer the following questions. The owner is concerned about the number of returns by the debtors. Give them advice of how he can decrease the number of returns. So this is internal control measures of how to obviously make sure that your suppliers are correct or that the correct stock is delivered to your um, debtors. 
So first of all, division of duties is always a very good answer. But you can't just say division of duties. You have to explain it because there's ways of dividing duties in different parts of the business. So when we divide duties for this specific control, you will make sure that the person packing the order is checked by another person before it's sent out. And then you can investigate your returns and make sure it's not a specific supplier that's the problem. If it is, then obviously you will investigate that supplier or address the matter with the supplier itself or find another supplier. Then what is the source document for D recorded in the debtor's allowance journal? Now, debtor's allowance journal, the source document for that is always a credit note. And then last question, Ernest, um, the owner... He is the uh, suspects that stock has been stolen during the year. He asks you, how, what is the internal control me uh, measures to, this is very important, prevent stock from being stolen. So the key word here is preventing the stock from being stolen. So preventative measures. Okay. So first of all, division of duties. Yet again, explain what you mean by that. Persons ordering the stock from the supplier cannot be the same person receiving the delivery to make sure that what is ordered is what is received. Then check that the stock delivered corresponds with the invoice on the delivery note so that the documentation corresponds with what is actually delivered. All stock must be properly recorded and logged. So you have to have the paper trail there. And then finally, have a limited access to the stock room. So not all people or personnel must be, have access to the storeroom. And if they have access, they must log in or log out or swipe in or swipe out. You know who went in when. Then And then put one person in charge of issuing the stock from the storeroom to be packed on the shelves in the shop. And another person to oversee the stock being um, packed and delivered. And then lastly, install security cameras. These are all preventative measures and I hope that this um, makes things a bit more clear. So that's the end of this activity. So far we've revised transaction analysis, we've looked at combination journal activities, we've now looked at more than one ledger activity and lastly we are going to look at posting to the debtors and creditors ledger. Have a very good day.